Breaking news, guys. Everywhere don't scatter. As Aloy Ejimako reveals who is behind Namdi Kanu's detention, this will shock you. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The head of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdi Kano, has a special counsel named Aloy Ijimako. According to Ijimako, Bola Tinubu is the one stopping the release of the agitator, not the court. Ijimako contended that Tinubu has the power to give the Attorney General of the Federation, the AGF, the order to stop Kano's trial using Section 174 of the Constitution. Ijimako ascertained that Tinubu has the authority to intervene in any criminal prosecution, highlighting the fact that the box stops at Tinubu's desk. Ijimako stated his position on social net's working platform X, saying, Tinubu, not the court, is Tinubu, is not the court, is holding Mazin Namdekano, the Attorney General may stop any criminal trial initiated by him against any person according to section 174 of the constitution. Tinubu can direct the AGF to stop the trial of Mazinam de Kano. The official bat, the buck, stop at your table. Furthermore, Ejimako contested the notion of a united Nigeria, suggesting that the Igbo community is facing repercussions of voting in favor of the Labour Party, Peter Obi. Whereas the One Nigeria, hashtag One Nigeria, when Igbo are being punished for voting Peter Obi. The lawyer concluded his remarks with a call for the release of Namdi Kano, challenging the authorities to prove him wrong by ensuring Kano's freedom. They forgot that Indigo also voted for Shagari. They forgot that Indigo also voted for Basanjo, Yaradua, Kulog, Jonathan, and Atiku, and the Yoruba voted for Basanjo. They voted for Icho. They voted for Kulog, Jonathan, and Ahusa Fulani voted for Shagari, Yaradua, and Atiku. Hashtag free Mazin Namdi Kano to prove me wrong, he articulated. Nigerians, this issue of Mazin Namdi Kano is gradually, you know, taking another dimension. You know, majority of Nigerians, especially the South Easterners, expected that the Supreme Court of Nigeria would have at least released Mazin Namdi Kano on December 15th when the case was heard and all that. But they were all disappointed. When the the judges say Namdi Kano will continue trial. Now, majority of people have been calling the president, President Bola Metinubo, to at least use his constitutional will to release this man. Okay, not just that, the, because the issue now is not just Mazin Namdi Kano matter. We are talking about a whole region. This Mazin Namdi Kano's con. con continued in incarceration is as well affecting their people, is affecting the Southeasterners in their region. You understand? So, for peace and unity, the best thing to go in, you know, uh, the best thing to go now concerning this matter is Mazin Namdi Kano's release through the president. Because the way it is now, if they follow, if, if they follow this court matter again, they are starting all over. That is just it. They are starting all over again. That is the just the issue. Mazin Namdi Kano is starting all over. So the three years he has been in DSS custody is a waste. It's going to start from the Supreme Court, where he ended from Supreme Court, he ended in Apicot. That was when he was discharged and acquitted. Now the Supreme Court, uh, please, uh, is going to start from the AP, uh, High Court, I meant to say. Now the Supreme Court have directed him back again to the High Court. 
You understand? So the matter just gets as it be. The most funniest part of it is that the court, the Supreme Court on uh, on Thursday, acknowledged that the Nigerian government acted illegally and irresponsibly when it forcefully brought the the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipop Namdi Kano, back to the country from Kenya. The Nigerian government in 2021 announced Kano's arrest and extradition to Nigeria to continue to face trial. He was subsequently arraigned with a blindfold before being Tanyako, a judge of the Federal High Court in Abuja. So Kanu is facing charges bordering on treasonable felony instituted against him at the courts following years of campaigning for the secession of the Republic of Biafra from Nigeria through IPOP. He was granted bill in April 2017 for health reasons, but fled the country after the military attacked his house in Abia State, killing some persons, and that was what led to, you know, his parents' death. However, the Abyss Court on Friday forted the rearrest and extrajudiciary rendition of Nam De Kanu, the IPOP leader, by the Nigerian government. But the court also blamed the trial court for revoking Kanu's bill after he flew the country following the invasion of his home by security agencies that took, you know, about 23 lives. Now, Aloyj Marco said the only way Nnamdi Kanu can be free right now is Tinubu. So, as it is right now, Tinubu is the one holding Mazen in Nnamdi Kanu. Is the Igbos having uh, getting this punishment because they voted for an Igbo person? But I don't know why all these things will be coming up. An Igbo man is a Nigerian. You understand? Are they not part of the country? Are they not part of the country? Why should anybody be angry that uh, they voted for their people? Yorubas voted for their people as well. What we do in Nigeria is politics, politics of ethnicity. That is what we do. That is the kind of politics we play. And that is why the reason why we have not gotten the repression. We know they look whether the person goes fit. Nigerians are just after where the person is coming from. They are, they are okay with that. Whether the person perform or not, so far, it's from their region. It's very bad though. I bet make a drop out for you, my people. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.